Thanks for watching Jiu-Jitsu Without Limitations. Uh, I got a request from someone that is asking, how do you control the back when you're, you have limited mobility? Uh, wants to know what he can do in, in that situation. Uh, so first, before I um, show actually what I do when I have the back, I wanna show how to get to the back in some cases. A lot of times your opponent, let's say you're, you're, they're trying to get away from you, it's important to, you can grab the lapel from, from the front and then like go, go um, the other way. So if he's trying, if let's say he's on the process of getting away or, or you're stuck behind, if you grab the lapel on both sides of his, of his, um, of his uh, from underneath his armpits, go ahead, Thomas, just try to get anywhere. So move you, but you have control of his back in this case. So you can control him. You know what I mean? And that's just, let's just show the grip. And that's just the grip, lift your arm up. I'm grabbing the lapel and holding it backwards. So give me the other one. I grab the lapel and I hold it backwards. You're almost in a cross collar, cross collar situation, if you will. Um, but you have you have a lot of control. So go full speed. Try to get out of here. You know you have a lot of control, and um, when you need to, you can just let go of one, take the back, and then. You're, you're in the seatbelt position. So that's my seatbelt from here. Now, let's go up a little. So the seatbelt could be from, you could be on the ground, you could have the guy right on his back. However the situation is, uh, you're gonna apply that seatbelt. Just don't think that the seatbelt grip is always gonna be sitting upright like this, especially for us, it's a struggle to get there. So sit here, I'm gonna put my back against the wall so I can demonstrate. You're controlling the guy with a seatbelt grip, it's called seatbelt because it's coming across his chest. But you wanna hold the, the, the hand that's under the armpit, so this is basics, on top of the hand that's gonna be choking. So when he goes to defend, this one can slide in for the choke. So you don't have the hooks, so they can get out, they can squirm out of this a lot. So I even, like I was saying, I'll, I'll control them like this from the back. I'll just hold them like this. Um, and let them squirm, use their energy, uh, because I have both uh, lapels under their armpit, they, I'm controlling their shoulders. So if you can control the shoulders, you can control their body. So try to get out, Thomas. You know, and then you can go in. As they're squirming around, you can try. And obviously someone in jujitsu is not gonna be that open. You're gonna have to work for it. <laughs> now, so that's one good grip I use is the, I use, I come from underneath and I just use both lapels to, to set before I set up. So keep one lapel and then go for your seatbelt grip and then you could grab it like that. Don't let go of this lapel until you get your seatbelt grip. So if he's squirming, I go like this, then I'm in my seatbelt grip. You know what I mean? So you control the lapels from the back initially until you can get the seat bumper. All right, now another good control I have is I like to, I'm here in the seatbelt grip, but I like to then when they bring this hand up, I like to come under and feed this lapel to that hand. So this is the grip you wanna do from behind. And that controls one arm and you're controlling the body with the with the other side of the lapel as deep as possible and then you have kind of it's like a shield you're holding them like a shield and then from here you could work a grip you could work something that you uh, several things that you have from there and then this is a tricky one this is a uh, one of my secrets um i go i get the back and then i go for i go for i grab my i go for the um seatbelt grip like this and then what I'm doing is I'm feeding my lapel across his, uh, his shoulder and I'm holding it under this armpit that frees this hand up. If you have your legs, you could, you could easily um, come around them. But if you don't have your legs, like my situation, you're controlling here until, you, you've, uh, until they give up the squirm. And then from here, you're gonna work the game that you have. So, um, the submission from there would be, I feed, 
I feed this lapel, I go like this, and then I'm holding, but I'm hiding my lapel ac across underneath my arm, and I'm holding the, the seatbelt grip. Remember, when you have a seatbelt, you're gonna tighten everything, put your head against his head, don't let him move. You're getting there all the slack out. And then what you're gonna do is come up for the choke, um, like a rear naked choke. What he's gonna do is try to block this choke, and when he does, I pull the lapel out. And then I grab it with this hand. And then he's still, I don't add this pressure yet, because I don't wanna give it away. So he blocks it successfully, but when he goes to escape, I've used, I come back <laughs> and I grab my own lapel. Thomas has a problem where he doesn't tap. He just will endure it and then he won't tap. <laughs> He's an idiot. So again, you're going to have your lapel out. You're gonna pull it. You're gonna want your lapel. If you can have the opportunity to pull it up, you're pulling it off your lower back so you'll have more lapel to feed. Then you're gonna grab the seatbelt grip and you're gonna keep tight. You don't wanna give anything away. This works extremely well, especially if you both have the same kimono on, the same color. So you're holding it here. And then as soon as, um, go ahead, defend with this. Here. So you're holding here, maybe you're trying to control this arm like you normally would so you can go to the choke. So this is naturally gonna bring that other arm to defend. Oh, the other one. And then that's when you let them defend, good. He defended, get away, and when he tries to escape, you're gonna s simply s slide in, grab the lapel, and then use your forearm against his neck, and you're going to wrench it across like this. <coughs> and as you can see, that's one hand. So if I go with two hands, <coughs> it's instantly. It's like a guillotine, like on the Adam Devil. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like a... It's uh, just pulling all in there. Yeah. It's uncomfortable.